a full ride Friday with LP and LT. Oh my gosh, it's really good to be back. It's really great. Season two. Season two is really exciting. We've been renewed. We have been renewed. And it's been a whirlwind. Really, it has. Yeah. I have a really hard time walking from the Southwest Quad to the office because people stop me now and want to talk to me about things. And, you know, it's hard because I have Celebrity to Celebrity life. I know. I know. It's hard. We've gone from being F-list campus celebrities to D-list yeah. campus celebrities. I know. I'm now like what they, someone told me the other day I'm an influencer. Oh, really? Yeah. Or a connector? I don't yeah. know what that means, but. If you're I on the Instagram, that, then you can be more of a. Oh. Yeah. The Instagram. Media. Media. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but things have been so big that we had some of our common friends attend mm -hmm. the premiere of season two. Yeah. We have had celebrities come watch us. Yes. Very exciting. We've earned some awards and some distinctions. Right. Best new hit show category right it's very exciting <laughs> our ratings are through the roof guys through the roof so mm -hmm. i mean like the cool thing is if you're here and joining us and you saw season one then you were there at the beginning like right. when nobody really knew who we were and now that we've taken off like we will remember the early fans we need like groupie names like for people who are our groupies Mm, we don't need groupies. Okay, never mind. Um, but we also just want to show you some photos from our um, highlight reel of our year. So let's let's show those. Oh, what's his name? Steve. Steve. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Steve. 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 You know, LT, there's been a lot of buzz on the street, a lot of questions about mm -hmm. where should I be at this point um, in the application cycle? What should I be thinking about? What should I be doing? So um, can you give us some, you know, real talk, some dirt? I know dirt, but you know, <laughs> some dirt. <laughs> some like, down low. Yeah, something down low about yeah, where yeah, applicants should be. Yeah, this is a good question. Actually, never compliment the question, but <laughs> other than that. Um, it was a, it was a mediocre or okay. It was question. an okay question. Yeah. It was a staged mediocre okay question, but at this point in time, it's time to kind of like really get serious about applying, and you really can't begin to make moves towards developing the application until you know what you're applying for. Mm -hmm. And with Fulbright, that means what country so and what grant true. type. Yeah, and basically, you can only apply for one. Exactly. So you have to make decisions, and this is where. Oh, by the way, we're so good at this. <laughs> oh, we are? What are we good? We're good at multiple we're, things. We're good so at multiple good. things. We're good at advising. Um, and we've had a really successful year last year. Oh, right? yes. So we didn't tell them about how way over 40 people won a Fulbright from Georgetown. Yes. Putting us up there. I know. And I think that some of that success that the students have had is in finding the right grant. So right now you may already know, okay, I know I want to apply to that country and that grant type. Great. It's good if you know that, but still, you may just want to check in with us and just sort of share with us, like, what country and what kind of grant you want to apply and for. make sure that fit is there. Yeah, because matching is so good. Like, what if, you know, if you're on a blind date and you get a bad match, Yeah. disaster. Like, you think I mean, it's going to be good. you always go into online dates with some you sense do. of what the person is. And you think like, you do, but then when we have a lot of experience, right. not We're in like blind the matchmakers. Dates, like, we're good at matchmaking. We're like the technology that has the good algorithms that yes. can determine. So we can, like, give you some feedback on whether or not whether match is swipe good. left or swipe right. Yeah, because you really don't want to swipe the wrong way. Yeah. So pick oh, your country. Yes. And one way to do that is to watch. <laughs> I know where you're going to go. Yeah, pick up. Uh, yeah, you know, we're still working on finishing the other person's sentences. Um, the number one thing you should be doing is if you haven't already attended an information session is to watch the recording that we have so helpfully added. It's in this newsletter. In this newsletter. Mm -hmm. So the first step here is to watch the recording, get a sense of what Fulbright is, what the grant options are, that kind of thing, so that you can help determine that fit and we can help you with that fit. After you have watched the recording, then you are free to sign up for an individual advising appointment with one of us. Yep. And those go, you know, really fast because we are, you know, as, as we said, very, very popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't know what the point was of that. Just watch the recording. Watch the recording. That's the point. And think about grant type and country. So we can help you match. Yeah. Make sure the match is legitimately right. 
Okay, so um, on the last segment of our show, mm -hmm. we run a couple of features. Sometimes we do drawings, not this time, but if you stick with us, you have a chance to win prizes. Sometimes we hear advice from former applicants, which is always helpful. And then sometimes we hear from our fan club. We have fans that will email Writing us questions. questions. Mm -hmm. And they'll send us questions in, and then we'll put them in the fan bag. Our stocking. So we're going to go ahead and start with a question from the fan club for the FPAs. Um, and I'll draw the question and read it. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. What is the most challenging final exam you have ever taken? That's an interesting oh, that's question. Really question mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. Most challenging final exam I've ever taken. So you're in finals right now. By the time we actually, when you're watching, I mean, this, this was like finals. however many plus years ago. This is. I mean, I was hoping you weren't taking final like last week. No, I know. I mean, I could have. I mean, you could have. Yeah, because I did. I mean, you're taking it <laughs> <laughs> more recently. Um, most challenging final. You know, I always well, I always preferred essays because I was always a humanities person. So I liked yeah. having my like BS. managing my time and not having an actual exam. Yeah. Would you say? It's a BS. You know, you can write a it's lot. It's not BS. Well, like there's if it's multiple choice, it's right or wrong, right? Like if it's an essay, it's yeah. like oh well, it's up to your yeah imagination. Yeah. So you don't have to know as much of the facts. You just need a few of them so you can just right. make a few real reasoned points. But have things gone downhill when now it's just recalling information just for the point of the yeah, exam and then yeah, you forget yeah, about it afterwards? Yeah. Do you know what they don't have to deal with probably that was what? really a stress when I was doing finals? So many finals I think they can take on like laptops, right? Nobody hand writes the essays books. anymore. Like do right? people use blue books? I don't know. That is a good question. I actually would like people to write in. Huh. Do you know what a blue book is? Not a car evaluation. I always just remember like after writing multiple blue books, like my hand yeah. beat one fell off. Yeah. But I always hated also reviewing people's blue books, like as a grader. Yeah, well, Because like, you could never read people's handwriting. Yeah, I know. But here's the also thing, so the that's the problem. When you were writing out essays, you had to like legitimately remember how to spell things. There Not a problem was for you. was word check. No, not on blue books. Oh, on we blue We're books. writing blue oh, okay. They have spell check, yeah, so they don't have that problem. I'm saying that is our <laughs> generation. Like, what are problem. you using now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. there's a spell check feature? Yeah. That's true. So it's, you know, so like, one less especially, thing you stressed. I know, it's, if it's like a really challenging last right. name or s right. random medieval town, like, come on, that's hard. Maybe, yeah. That's so then I would just get really messy if I didn't know oh. the, how to spell. I'd just like scribble the letters together. Yeah. So, you know, get Like when people it. just refer to us as lore because they yeah. don't know who's yeah. Laura and Laura. Yeah, I know, yeah. complicated. Okay, finals are hard. Good luck. Names are hard. Blue books. Blue books. Mm. <laughs> Well, I guess that... Uh... Oh, that wraps it up. We'll see you um, next week. Next week. Have a good weekend. <laughs> when we get to the point of just being like, ugh. Yeah, we should <laughs> stop. <laughs>